Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, first round match between Moomin Slayer and his unbelievably good Undead and Astro WWF, or Astro, don't know what it is, with his pretty good Orcs to be fair. Um, he's got a Wizard and a Babe as inducements. But yeah, Moomin Slayer's team is crazy. M move 8, Strength 4, Ghoul. Strength 5, White. Strength 4, White. And uh, Block Mummy. So yeah, pretty nice. Guard, like this utility ghoul with guard, watch step, and then two wrestle ghouls. Would have fielded the other ghoul as well, personally. Um, though I believe there's a tackle coming here. Uh, oh yeah, there's lots of tackle mighty, that's right, there's lots of tackle mighty. Three tackle mighties. Mm, so maybe that does make you not feel the other wrestle. That, that, there's a lot of tackle mighty to be concerned about, and yeah, a bunch of guard. Like it's a, it's a it's a good orc team. Um, it's just not like an amazing team for orcs, whereas this is an amazing team for uh, for undead. Oof. Going to school. That was slightly incorrect, wasn't it? Surely he should have blocked with... Yeah, it surely he could have just done, like, down the line blocks. Would have been better. I don't know. But not great dice. And yeah, the, I mean, the main... The, the ball carry is incredible, but... Being a ghoul... would just be too plussed. Really good chance of breaking his armor, and if he gets cast, there's no armor or anything. So, as amazing this guy is, it's very risky carrying on him. I feel like I think you have to. It's it's a crazy, crazy undead team. That's for sure. Not great dice though. Hmm. Not sure about the follows and that. I would have just not followed and then gets this one. Like you can't do you can't give them too much, right? Because they've got so much guard that they can get back into things. Like you could put a guard in here and blitz him and follow and then you can knock both of these down. Stuff like that. Yeah, it's a lot of strength, like a lot of strength. So he does it slightly differently. I'd have been very tempted to have blitzed this guy, honestly. Mm. But you'd have had to blitz him with a black orc. Oh! Wow. Well, that's why. <laughs> That's why you don't give blocks away for nothing, right? Like, my, my play, like, uh, you know, I've said it before it happened. My play is blitz this guy and don't engage over here. And I know, like, you want to... You want to obviously get forward and stuff. But still, I just... I really don't like giving up, giving up hits. And there's a lot of guard on this orc team. And there's a lot of orc. A lot of orc. A lot of orc on this guard team. There's a lot of guard on this orc team, so... Maybe it's hard, right? It's actually a hard offense because there's so much guard on them, and obviously the ball carrier has lost his biggest strength of being almost a knockover, but almost undealable with, right? But with a ball, with a ball, he's easily dealable with. So the ghouls have to be protected at all times because of the three mighty bow tacklers. So it is actually surprisingly tricky for the for the undead, but <laughs> that sure doesn't help getting that guy. Randall cast. Oh. 
in Listy region, but makes this drive a lot harder. Really. Losing your losing your movement six money. <laughs> Question is, can the orcs take advantage? Oh, pro on the edge or... Do you know what? It's probably not terrible. There's not a lot left to take at that point. Is the stand firm? I guess. I can understand the pro. Like it gives him half of sure hands, doesn't it, and half of stiff ball and stuff. I think it's not terrible. Like, I don't think it's particularly good, but I think it's not. I like probably sure hands is better, right? Because then sure hands gives you the protection against. Uh... But with mighty blow and tackle, the pro can get you a bit more attrition. And he's got a throw, which I don't think you should have, but if you've got a throw, then you need the sure hands less. Yeah. Gives him half of catch. Like it's not it's not too terrible to give him it. But um he basically yeah, it's probably stand for him, I guess. Yeah, the undead. Oh yeah, yeah, could have just given him one, but then he's got edge four, so we want him standing to use his edge really. Yeah, it's a nightmare for the for the Losing that strength five, like when you're good because of a few good players, and then you lose one of your good players, you're in a lot of trouble. And there is a lot of guard up in the old team. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight guard. Which you know isn't particularly a lot for an old team, but it's it's a lot for a team, isn't it? It's a lot for a good ball team. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until oh, I'm nice. victorious. And I will defend. Whoa. I will defend. Hello <laughs> again. <laughs> and JFW. <laughs> Hello. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic. For 10 glorious months. Oh, yeah. I hope you're not back for Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> but, but hello. <laughs> Yeah, it's tragic. It's tragic how bad it is. Get to mighty blow blitz this uh this gal now, doesn't it? Couldn't he have just gone one, two, three, four, and then gone one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, that's way better. That's way better than doing doing it this way. I tink. Recommend anybody uh, buying it. I mean, I'm not going to say don't buy it because it's your money and you can do whatever you want. But I couldn't recommend it. Like, you know, there's some games I could recommend, like Battle Brothers and stuff. Done as well, right? Like that gets keeps him down and past him. This is pretty good, but well, it's not roll because this guy isn't tied up because he can just dodge up. And he's freed up. It's a good recovery from the from the uh, undead, but we do have another mighty blow tackle hit on a gowl. It's looking bad for the undead again a little bit, but yeah, this is a pretty good trade up up here, isn't it? Um, 
for the undead. Like this guy stunned these two on the mummy. And then this uh, this ghoul can just dodge off. Good turn from the orcs. Good turn from the orcs. And this doesn't look good at all. All of a sudden. It's been a pretty weird match, right? It's been kind of swingy. It's looked really good. Did you just score here? Yeah, maybe. Double GFI score, and the wizard's not gonna screw you. I don't hate the score here. Like, it does put you at risk from the 2 1 grind, obviously. But. Just bang it in. Oh, okay, that's pretty good to stop him getting in. Yeah, this is pretty decent, right? It, yeah, yeah, so it, it might draw the bolt, which it does. But it might not be that good a bolt for him. <sighs> Two edge forwards. Looks like it's a pretty good bolt for him, to be fair. Like, because, you know, that guy could have easily been cast. That's the main problem of the wizard, I think, is... is Undead is like just that you can't apple them in the, in the seven. Whoops. He is out of the track. Oh! Fantastic play by Moomin Slayer to, uh, <laughs> to give up that. That bolt. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Maybe he shouldn't have gone for it with him, right? Once he once he cleared it, maybe he should have gone for the pro guy, because the pro guy almost got the extra hands. But there is no tackle, is there one, uh, one tackle? One mobile tackle for the undead. Mm. Was it, he could have stood up, couldn't he? I think so, I think there's a bit of misordering in the there. There's lots of doobly ones, but it, it looks like a perfect hit to install here, but yeah, I would have... Like, that's amazing, right? Not only is he... looks like he's going to get the stall now, but also the wizard's burn. Just touch the there, yeah. Doesn't get the pal. That's pretty flippin' amazing. It's funny with the ad now they've gone guard rather than mighty blow there. He gets pushed which is enough and then he hits him. Which is enough. Yeah, per perfect eight turn stall. That is pretty. Yeah, the uh, the snake was was huge, wasn't it? I mean, it was unlucky. It was unlucky the snake, but did it have to be made? Like that's the question you've got to ask, isn't it? After every like snake, and you know, in in my game that I played just now in there with BB, I, I on the break to turn, I made four snakes that would have could have cost well. Almost certainly lose me the game in one turn, and I could have made only three. So you know, those little things—if you can save any one in thirty-six from being rolled—it's that much less chance of losing it. Isn't it? But worked out phenomenally well for me. Like unbelievably well. Lost the strength five. Was in a horrible spot. And then stalled it out and used up the wizard. So, huge favourite now. Maybe not huge favourite. <laughs> like the Orcs have just got a score and then win the toss in overtime, haven't they? It's a funny old game, Blood Bowl. Love putting the, the good players on the bench. The trees. Um, 
Movement six edge up. This might be this might be good here just to minimise attrition. Very unlikely that he even tries the one turn. And if he does go for the one turn it probably helps you honestly. Oh riot. Flip me. Oh now benching these looks terrible. <laughs> Oh, outrageous. And now putting his mighty blowers on the OS looks terrible as well. Right? The play here was to have uh, blitzed this guy and, like, chain the other one off or something so you can get all these three moving, right? You want, you want all three of these to move up. I guess he's with palling, that's okay, because then you can blitz with him. But really needed that power. It's a bit rubbish though, isn't it? The screen would be 3 3 2 to get through, which isn't even hard, so maybe the screen isn't good. But I don't know how hard you can make it with not having players over here. Probably should have blitzed one of these two. And there's no guard. Because blitzing him is the worst than the blitz because you, you don't have anyone over here now, do you? This one should have maybe gone first, this double GFI. Should have probably happened first, so the mummy was in there. And then, the, then this zombie could have been over here. That would have been better, wouldn't it? A lot better. Actually, a lot better. If this, this, this double GFI should have gone in first. And that zombie over there. This isn't easy though, is it? Like, I don't even know what the play is. <laughs> That's how uneasy it is. That's a block, blitz, and then one in the end zone. Nope. I didn't like that because. My way, you only need pushes, and then you've got edge four to duck through. Oh my god, what's he gonna do? It? Might be a double GFI. It is. <laughs> he rolled all the dice. Flip me. Wow. Wow. That is brutal. That is brutal. But it was. It. I mean, that was. That was an incredibly lucky turn. But an incredible, incredibly lucky to get the riot, and an incredibly lucky turn. But I do think it was the very slightest misplay from Moomin Slayer. Right. That 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 mummy had that double GFI to stand there, which would have given him the zombie um, back there where he all went through. So. It's like that's hypercritical, but it is something. Is it something that you can learn from? Not really, because I'd do exactly the same. <laughs> and then think about it after the fact. I'm not sure these nitpicks are of any use, really, right? Like, it's it's kind of interesting to point them out, but I'm not sure anyone is going to take anything from them over a long period of time. Like, maybe. I guess it's interesting more than anything to, to point out where people could be better, but it's unlikely to have any effect. 
on anyone's game play. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> People just don't take it seriously enough. And he's just a little kid's game. So now, all of a sudden, it's huge advantage to the Orcs, isn't it? If they can get this drive done, it's GG. And if they don't, they still got a 50-50 chance of winning the race. You have to blitz this guy with strength four. Eh? The question is, did you just go all in massive base contact with the uh, undead here? There's certainly some payoff to it, isn't there? Like the mummy could go in here. I don't know. It's, I'd put the mummy in there and then blitz with him. There. He's just doing it this way around, but I think I'd rather have him there. Yeah, I think maybe he's going all in there with the play. I don't know, it's a bit sub. You kind of almost have to turn him over. Right? I feel like playing conservative is almost doomed to failure against the three mighty blows. I don't know, they've got Mighty Blow of their own in the mummies on the strength of both. Well, there's so much guard and so much armor 9. I feel like the orcs. Kind of like a fight mode. So, like, this strength 5 isn't being used. Well, okay, it is now. It wasn't being used last turn. And this move 8 strength 4 isn't being used, like, so. Having to like use their advantage somehow, it's not easy. But I, I didn't like this. I would think, hmm, oh, maybe yeah, maybe I'll do this. Because then getting the mummy in here to be cool. Yeah, and having the mummy wrestle would have been terrible. But don't follow. Mm. I would have not followed and supported with a scandal. It's like, we saw it in the first half, right? It's pretty easy for these orcs to get 2Ds on on the strength 5 guys. It causes the problems. It's, it's, it's instant 2D. No one foul was, I guess that's okay. Like he could have blitzed uh, a strength four probably and then blocked in with a mighty blow. Gonna one D the strength five and cas it? No? Not yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's actually a lot of strength, isn't it? <laughs> as much as there's guard and stuff, when, when they take people out to defend the ball, which they've taken out a lot, six from this fight, the, uh, the undead can dominate the other last now. First notch rustler. Nice. Wrestle is the best kill skill. <laughs> mm. I think I'd have rather he was on the periphery. Nice fouling opportunity. 
not taking it. Hmm. I guess it's protecting the strength four, isn't it, from being blitzed. Wrestles an unexciting blitz target. But it does stop his strength four getting smashed by that eagle. So this is a pretty good positional. Keeps the strength four on the pitch. <laughs> But at the cost of not getting a nice foul. Like, really nice foul. Four assists. Yeah. I think we've got to get in the way a little bit. Chain, okay, so I'd have chained him in for the assist. That was the play, right? This was this was the play. The play without hit is to chain him onto there, and then he can then you can punch him. And if you pal him, you get the mummy in. This feels like pretty wrong. Cause like you don't want a one D here, so now you just gonna hit me and not have a strength burn guy in there. Yeah, I mean that's just, that's way better, isn't it? Having the strength burn, the strength five guards I'm firm in here is monstrous. Like he is, he's doing something over here. He's not really dominating these three players, like those three do have an advantage in, but at least he's kind of holding three. Pro. That's only one day, right, if the, if the money's in there. Just a free, yeah, I think that mummy in there was, was the pro. But hey, it's turn 13, and uh, Mr. Throw is in his own half. And now, all of a sudden, keeping this mummy here has, has worked out pretty nicely. into there. Now I'd go there and see that you can't get anybody there. He could block him and then push him to there. And then he could push him into there and get him to there. And then he could push him and get him. <laughs> now you probably can't. I wondered if you could like do something crazy with this mummy but I don't think so. This isn't super exciting. In fact, it's arguably worse than where it was. Like at least it was, you know, battling the strength of the guys. Hate the follow. Love just keeping him stood there. It's a heavy commitment to hit him. Maybe the blitz and the strength four and another assist, or you put in two assists for, for the hit. Oh, I get a mighty pull tackle hit on the ghoul here. Eh? Four, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. 
Oh yeah, it has to be this one because he's strength four. <laughs> okay. I prefer blitzing this one, but yeah, you just can't. <laughs> I guess you could have done if you didn't. I don't know if, you, if the goo was in the way of that one. If you could have done that as well, then I guess you do that first and then blitz this one. Oh man. Let me dodge. What about this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four? Yeah, no, three, three, yeah, three, four this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, ah, that's shit, isn't it? Maybe, honestly, maybe it's a five plus for the 2D is maybe the best play. I think people underestimate how often that is, like, that is the best play. It's definitely understandable going for the more conservative play, you know, being 1-1, one, one, having most of your team in front of the ball. I feel like the push was better there. Hem him in a bit. I guess he's putting on the mummy, uh, on the black hole that's got the card to help him. But I feel like I'd want more people in. This is still alright, isn't it, the mummy on two, but he's behind the ball now, he's leveled with the ball. This is a lovely, a lovely run ahead. I wonder if he's going to uh, try and get it. Where's the edge forward dog? Yeah. Pass it to the edge four, eh? What? Oh, I hate that. I flipping hate that. You've got an edge four with dodge and he just does a block. Oh well he had to because he's got he's got tackle. And he didn't have to. We don't even have a scrolling threat, isn't it? And the uh, move 8. Strength 4 just got tied up a little bit. It's funny as well, isn't it? Because a few turns ago, I wanted this guy on the outside. And now it's ended up that the guy on the outside <laughs> is here. And if that had happened, if they'd been the other way around, that would have been an instant strength 4 blitz on this guy. GFI. Two game fails. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just a handoff, isn't it? Well, a blitz and a handoff. Oh man. I mean, it's super unlucky for a Moon Slayer, right? The, uh, the, the riot. And then a very lucky score even after the ride. Um, and like no massive, massive mistakes on defense, right? Just like slight things that maybe could have been better. And only maybe. I don't know the answer. But uh, pretty rough, pretty rough match. I guess there's still a chance, right? Movement eight. There is a chance with a one turner, but. Uh, there isn't much stand firm in the, in the old team, if any. There might be none. Zero stand firm. So there is a chance. Movement eight. One two. Imagine if he gets a, if he gets a quick snap. It'd be amazing because then he could blitz through himself to score. Yeah, like yeah, that's the thing. Like it weren't, there was no, there was nothing big though, right? There was nothing like making a cage with only three players. 
Banter. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> yeah, like, stopping the score, right? Like... Obviously, you don't want to do the double GFI first, but the payoff in the end would have been so huge to have done those two GFIs first. And have him there in the... Uh... And, like... It is nitpicky, but it, you also should have seen, right, with them being off to one side. Well, first of all, I guess, the mummies were in the wrong place to start with, right? Because you should have had, like, the mummies here and here in case of a riot, so they could go to anywhere instead of, like, having them both over here. So they had to go so far over. That was also a bit of a... bit of a mistake, just in the setup, but obviously an understandable one. Gets the push. <laughs> Guess the push would have been really good to have somebody down here so he could have pushed there and then he could have pushed him as well at the end if he had to. Hmm. In a bit of a pickle. <laughs> In a bit of a pickle. Needed double six dodges to fill that, so yeah, probably had to do something a little bit differently to fill that square. That was always going to be the hard one to fill, but uh, yeah, a bit of a tragedy for Moomin Slayer there. That was a, that was an amazing, amazing undead team, like just absolute freak of nature undead team, and just a normal run of the mill orc team was was a good match to it. Yeah, as, as you said, it like, wasn't nothing special, like nice, like you know, a couple of edge four, a couple of dodge. Um, Plenty of guard, plenty of mighty blow, eh. but it, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't a memorable orb team anyway, was it? And it actually was quite light on the bashing the uh, the mum, the undead team, there was only the two mummies and the strength four with mighty blow. The strength four didn't have tackle, so there was no real killer at all. I do feel like you need a tackle pommer to win a CCL, and uh, didn't have it, so there you go. Commiserations to Moomin Slayer, congratulations to... Uh, oh, it was something WWF, wasn't it? Astro WWF? There you go. Congrats to him. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.